I do my service learning at Bryant Middle School, and I do mine at Jackson Elementary School. Um, our theme is social connectedness, and um, social connectedness, the way we interpret it is that um, with our community and um, our environment, it definitely has influenced our education more than just our pers own personal achievement. And we see that a lot in our service learning. Um, for example, uh, at my service learning site, the concept I applied to social connectedness is microaggressions. Um, my, the definition of microaggressions are everyday verbal or nonverbal environment slights, snubs, or insults. They're derogatory messages that target persons um, based solely on their marginalized um, identity. And um, I've I seen this in my service learning. I'm an, a tutor for an AVID class and we were doing tutorials and a boy had questions on uh, for a Spanish class. And um, he didn't know he does he didn't know he didn't know Spanish. So one of the other girls um, asks him, "You don't know Spanish, but you're you're Hispanic." And he's like, "He's no." And he you could tell that he felt bad about it, and um, that he probably was going to feel uncomfortable or um, just bad about himself for not knowing Spanish, even though um, it's not um, like required to know Spanish if you're. Hispanic. So I stepped in and said, I, I don't know Spanish and I'm Hispanic and that kind of um, changed the subject, but um, you can just definitely tell it had an impact on him and um, that it was uh, derogatory and I can apply that to social connectedness because that's going to affect him in his educational um, process because he's going to be thinking I should know Spanish or such just stuff like that based on pretty much nothing, so. And then I took um, Cassidy's example and her son in my service learning site, and I found that there's this little boy who always um, seems to get in trouble because he's just rebellious, and the teacher will always call him out on it and tell him to stop doing a certain activity or don't say this, don't do that, and he'll just respond with, like, well, I can do it at home, or my parents don't say anything. So I tied that into my concept, which is home space, and that's um, the things that are learned outside of school in a space you feel comfortable, which is most likely your home, with your parents, your family. And if his parents don't say anything about his behavior, what he says, even though it might be wrong, he feels like he shouldn't be um, punished for it because it's, it's allowed. He's used to it. So I, the teacher, instead of sitting him down, and explaining to him why it's wrong or why you shouldn't say it, at least in school, he just sends or she just sends him straight to the office, which shouldn't be the case. Yeah, so we definitely have taken a lot out of our service learning and applied not only home space and microaggressions to um, social connectedness, but many other concepts that we've learned in ethics studies. And um, we're just going to take what we've learned and apply it to ourselves and our education. Mm -hmm.